Here comes the big unveil, mate. Oh, <laughs> oh, in the back. You've got to promise you don't run. <laughs> <laughs> Close your eyes for me, please. Oh, God, I like half my eyes closed around you. I don't... What the hell is going on the head? Whoa. I'd be more worried about what he's wrapping around that tree. Can I open my eyes yet? Open your eyes now. What's on the head? <laughs> Take it off and have a look. What's the cowboy hat got to do with this? So, we're going to have a Wild West theme. What, for your wedding day? Yeah, for the wedding day. <laughs> <laughs> all of the best Western films that we've <laughs> watched, mate, all have a good cliffhanger on them. So, when you've watched this, I'm going to explain the other half. Oh, Steve, I'm going to break a neck. You can do it. No holding on to the tree. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is right. That? We're going to be walking on one of these across a slate mine that's 2,000 foot deep. No, 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 Steve. <laughs> <laughs> so me, you, Leona, and a few other guests, mate, will be on the middle of it. So imagine you're here, I'm no, here, no, that's Leo's safe. here, and we'll be getting married. <laughs> Never mind Leona not liking it. I don't like it. <laughs> Well, it's going to go one of two ways, mate. We're either going to die and not get married, or we're going to be happily married ever after. Not only does Steve want to marry Leona on the rope bridge, she'll also have to face a 15-minute slog through dark, dingy tunnels to get there. This is going to be one heck of an entrance, mate, for everyone to walk down. It's... That's it. Who else can say that they've done this for the wedding, mate? This is the one. Well, it's certainly not the entrance Leona has in mind, as she's taken her mum to the serene woodland grounds of Hazelwood Castle. My dream wedding venue would be a beautiful woodland area with fairy lights and roses and lilies everywhere. Well, at least it's not a church she's after. And it's outdoors. Maybe his wedding out in the elements won't go down so badly. Oh, my God, it's amazing. Oh, wow. Well. It's the white flowers and fairy lights, like I said. This is really sweet. I have to get married here. Yeah, you do. It's exactly what I had in mind, but better. Do you not think he'd pick something like this for you? No, I imagine it'd be romantic, because he is quite romantic, but I think he will put a lot of tacky Steve mojo onto it, and it won't be anything as classy and, and romantic. My only thing is I just hope he keeps it local, because you've got, like, your granddad and grandma and... Yeah, they won't be able to go far, would they? No. I'd want everyone to make it that I love, which is one of my biggest fears. I hope he's thinking about me as well as himself in this situation. Well, he is thinking about you. So this is obviously where the magic would be happening. And that 2,000-foot drop. Right, have fun. I'll see you on the other side. Steve hopes to get married halfway across the bridge. I don't think you need to get married on this. With Leona walking out from the opposite end to meet him in the middle. You need to keep going, mate, because you're just wobbling it. Oh, no. oh, stand still, you idiot! Stop it, man! Go off! This isn't funny! <laughs> Oh, I think I'm going to cry. Careful, steady. I don't think I'm going to make it all the way across. you got to do it, mate. There's no way else to get down. You had a bit of a shaky leg there. It's not my leg, my arms. I ain't got like a energy in my arms to push it out to keep it stable. Well done, guys. You're doing well. You're almost there now. Woo-hoo! There he was, giving it all the big man talk, as always. As soon as it comes to it. Sorting him out. That was it then, that. That is unreal. It was incredible. I feel like a coach, Steve, all the way through. You it. did, you were fantastic, mate. Yeah, really, yeah. really good. I honestly didn't think I was going to make it, mate. I thought I was just going to have to dangle there like a baby and get rescued. <laughs> <laughs> How's the missus to be going to be on there? Getting on it won't be a problem for her. What better to spend your wedding looking out to that backdrop? She can't complain at all. So for £2,500, Steve takes the plunge and books the bridge for the ceremony. I don't think Leona's ever going to do that. I think Steve's an absolute idiot for thinking it. The boys head back down the mountain in search of more solid ground for their reception. Steve, that's going to be your greystone after Leona sees this. <laughs> <laughs> in Doncaster, Leona already has her eye on a reception venue, the very prim and proper Bawtree Hall. I feel like I'm in something out of Downton Abbey. This is beautiful. <laughs> so so classy. <laughs> it's absolutely perfect for the details that I want for my wedding. Ooh. Oh, wow. wow. That's amazing. It's 100% what my mum would like as well. It's so prim and proper and elegant. <gasps> it's literally perfect. I don't think he'd think of the cutlery. I think he'd just shove a knife and fork in a napkin and just give it to people and just, yeah. 
I think it. you think of a wine glass, but I don't think you think of a water glass or a champagne flute. To be fair, I wouldn't be surprised if he gave us a paper cup. I am worried he's going to cut corners because he's a dull boy, isn't he? He's going to do whatever he do can know? to save as much as he can. The worst case scenario could be him putting me in some sort of field filled with cow pat. If he did something like that, then it would absolutely ruin my day. Don't worry, there's no cow pat where Steve's looking. Just sheep poo. And lots of it. I'm looking for somewhere I can pop a marquee up in the area. Yeah, absolutely. We've got the field out the front here. Yeah, and we're also yeah. looking for sort of somewhere where we can stay in the local area as well, so I know you've got both. Well, yeah, we've got ten bedrooms in total. We've got seven available that weekend. Can we provide our own alcohol while we're coming onto this field? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah? yeah. I'm happy at that for everything, okay. right? right? Thank you very much. Thank you. So for £1,600, the boys have a field for their DIY reception and seven rooms at the B&B for a handful of guests. You know what? I'm actually really happy with that. Me too, mate. I feel like we've got a lot done there. Smashed it, bro. Yeah.